Hello and welcome back to the wasteland with me Rabidon and Rick the Dick here. Yes, this is my speed run with my asshole character. Yes. What were we up to last time? Well, um yeah, we had the Battle of Bunker Hill which went swimmingly well, quite frankly, because I'd accidentally managed to befriend everybody involved in it. So nobody wanted to shoot me. I just literally walked in took the androids and walked straight back out. Or should I say I took the synth. Now I don't know how long the railroad are going to stay my friends doing tricks like that. At some point I'm going to reach a point in the institute quest line where that's not going to work anymore. If I don't have to do a battle like that, I don't really care. However, our son, who is now known as the father of the institute, and he's twice our age, or three times our age depending on how old our character is, is uh, well in his 60s and back down below after having come to the surface to see what I'd done. So let's go and see him. Back to the Institute. Right below us. Yep, father, want to beam up. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a vault captain, not an engineer. Yeah, um, yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> oh dear. Right, where are we going? Yes, to Fiverr, I'm assuming. That is what the quest says, isn't it? Oh, go up. Attend directorate meeting, yes. So, upstairs. Oh, hello. I've come for the meeting. Upstairs a bit more. Through there, is it? Right. No, not through there. Where are you people going? Remember, health and happiness go hand in hand. Yes, they do. And remember, sweep the floor. Because I'm not doing it. Call this a clean floor. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Uh huh. Right. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Choose a seat. Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, yeah. as we're all aware. Get on with it. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Yeah, well, this is Boston, boring, isn't it, boys and girls? Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, After sir, phase two. Are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Oh, you yes, should get on with true. it. Have you heard anything about phase three? Who, me? Uh, no idea. I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. <laughs> Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. Yes. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. Mm. I mean real, tangible power. Okay. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Oh, you need electric, then. compromises man. and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Go on. <sighs> compromise what? What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above-ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. 
It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Okay, and what happens if that goes boom inside? Nuclear power? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Not in our hands. I assure you this is the answer. This is the future. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined uh, we have a few tasks okay. ahead of us. Okay. Thus, we come to phase three. And just to after phase two. Help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yes? <laughs> He is gone. Yeah, so While that. I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, mm. there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult. Let me guess, he's dying. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, oh, please. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying, yes? You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To all right. Hands. I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can't be serious. Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute <laughs> has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Rick the Dick has power. Oh. <laughs> Before long, he'll be back in the workforce. He has power. Oh, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I'm going to talk to you now. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. Yeah, I can do it. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Okay. The, uh... Cancer thing put to one side. The fact that this is a game world means that I could keep him alive with cancer virtually indefinitely. Unless they've thought around that. And he's going to die in a set amount of game days if I don't complete the quests. But I can't see it. So as long as I don't complete the Institute quest, my son would never die. If only it was that simple in real life, eh? No. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. Yes. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. You was right there when he told me, so yes, you know I know. Go on. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're yeah, well, all your troubles points. seem so far away. Thrilled, yes. But it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Ooh, I can agitate anything. 
What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Oh, you're coming with me. Uh, won't that complicate it? You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, mm. and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you going to put up a stink, or can we get moving? Eh, fine. Fine. Come on, then. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put eh. more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Oh, the magic... The magic equipment from up top might not survive. Nothing to report, sir. Good. The magic equipment from up top might not survive. Despite the fact I'm running around with weapons that have been lying around for 200 years and they work just fine. I haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I have, let's face it. Hello. Hello. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. You mean have a nap? Yes, it's a good idea. I'm going to spin around on the stairs because I like to live dangerously. Uh, but am I getting myself lost? I think I'm getting myself... Yeah, I want to... Ignore me, people. Last time I tried jumping down a couple of flights, I killed myself. So let's not do that. Right. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh... There was a pain in my backside, that's what they were. Understand? Backside. What I'm looking at on you. Not that part of your backside, just you. Complete backside. Now. How does it open? <sighs> right. Thank you. It said come here and she'd meet me. Did it? Did it? Oh, did it say she'd meet me upstairs? Relay to the mass fusion. Okay, so show me on the map. Mm, fine. Well, have I got to meet her at the relay station? Oh, for <laughs> that will take forever. Why is that going down? Am I not supposed to be going this way? You know what? I know I probably shouldn't do it in the elevator because, you know, Scotty will be confused by where my molecules actually are, but yes, let's just get above ground quick. Mm. 